Today we're going to be reviewing and comparing every single Razer Kyra headset. And if at any point during the video you want to check out any of these Razer headsets, there's Amazon links below, 40 US, UK, Canada, and international links, but let's get into it. Now these again are predominantly focused for consoles. You can obviously use them with PC or other things, but if you want to use these with an Xbox or a PlayStation, the Kyras are really the way to go. So starting off, you have the Kyra Xs. These come in at a very reasonable price tag of $59.99. Build quality on the Kyra Xs is almost all plastic. Even the adjustable sidebands are plastic. And with them being plastic, this doesn't feel like it's actually going to break. It does actually cut down on weight. And I would say for this price point, it's acceptable as the earmuffs are really, really nice, as well as the fact that they offer some really awesome colorways. But yeah, it's all plastic, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. But it does kind of feel a little cheap. Sound quality on the Kyra X's is better than expected for this price point. The high trebles get a little bit muddy and the low frequency response doesn't go too low. So the overall sound isn't as full as the Kyra Hyperspeed and Pro Hyperspeeds. That being said, where these really shine is gameplay because you still get that fantastic directional sound and gaming on either an Xbox, PC, or PlayStation is hard to go wrong with these. These are really a solid option in terms of sound quality and the Kyras seem to just be tuned really, really nicely out of the box, like the whole lineup does. As for controls on the back of the left ear cup, there is a mic mute switch and a volume wheel. For connectivity, this is wire with a non-attachable 3.5 millimeter cable. This is also the only headset in the Kyra lineup that is wired. Comfort here is really good. Kairos, maybe the most comfortable. I think the pros are maybe the most comfortable. Like I said, it's hard to tell. They are super, super light. And because of this paired with the really soft foam and fabric earmuffs, this makes for a really enjoyable lightweight headset. It's breathable and I really have no complaints for long-term gameplay. Mic quality here is unbelievably good. It's like shockingly good. And while it's not as good as like the Black Shark V2 Pros, these are not even close to as expensive as those. So take a listen to the mic test. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Kyra X. And that is how it sounds. But as for compatibility, this is compatible with PC, Mac, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. Basically anything with a 3.5 millimeter connection. It also does have a shorter cable. So when you plug it into that controller, you don't have like tons of cable length everywhere. So it's obviously a little bit more designed for consoles than PC where you might want a longer cable. But with that, let's move on to the Razer Kyra Hyperspeed. These come in at a price tag of $129.99 and you can either get this in an Xbox variant or a PlayStation variant. Build quality here is pretty much exactly like the Kyra X's. While the total plastic construction was acceptable on a $60 headset, it's a tough pill to swallow when the price tag is more than doubled. While it does help with weight savings, which is really nice, especially with the wireless version of the headset, which this is, in hand, this just doesn't feel even close to a $130 price point. That being said, literally every other part of this headset is done basically perfectly, and I absolutely love this headset, and I do think it's probably the best console headset out there, dollar for dollar, as far as value-wise, if that makes sense. Now, the Kyra Hyperspeed's sound quality builds on the Kyra X's shortcomings. This gives significantly better low-frequency response, giving a full, rich, deep, bassy sound profile. You guys know that's something I love. It's not overbearing here, it's just right. As well, getting those crispier trebles and mids that are better across the board when compared to the Kyra X, which is honestly impressive considering this is, again, a wireless headset, so you're just fighting laws of nature. Only on the really upper end of the trebles do you get noticeable muddiness. Not only is this a headset that is great for listening to music on, but gaming is where it's at. As expected from Razer, directional sound is awesome on these. That's one thing that they do consistently well. Razer is just great with that. As for controls, on the back of the left ear cup, there is a mic mute switch, a volume wheel, a power button, and then a USB Type-C for charging. Having that volume wheel, not a zero to 100, but just a free flying wheel is super nice, especially on consoles, because many of them changing the sound is like not a very easy process. So super, super nice optimize really well, and one of the big reasons why you should go with this if you're gonna go for a console headset. Then on the back of the right ear cup, there is a mode selecting button and a wheel to change between the game slash chat balance. Again, one of those benefits to having a very console directed headset over just a normal headset that you're gonna put in your console. As for connectivity and battery life, this is wireless with a 2.4 gigahertz USB-C dongle. They can be toggled between either USB or Xbox modes, basically PC 
or console. And then obviously on the PlayStation variant of this, it just plugs right in with that USB type C in your PlayStation. This also has Bluetooth, so you can use it with your phone. And as far as battery life, this gets just over 19 hours, which is above its claimed 15 hours of usage. I do wish this was better, but it's a pill that I'm going to swallow every single time because of the value you get with this headset. This also charges via USB Type-C, but that's pretty obvious. Now, comfort on the hyperspeeds is great. Razer did a great job making the line of the Kyra's build as you increase in price, and the comfort is no exception. While the overall build is the same and the fabric is the same on the earmuffs, the foam feels slightly more plush, giving you just a little bit more comfort. My quality here is decent. It's very easy to understand for Discord chats, but overall, I've definitely heard better in a wireless headset, but take a listen. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Kyra Hyperspeeds. And that is how it sounds. As for compatibility, well, you guys know, PC, Mac, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch wirelessly, and then iOS and Android with Bluetooth. Again, the PlayStation and Xbox depends on the variation that you get, either the PlayStation version or the Xbox version. But with that, let's move on to the last headset, the Razer Kyra Pro Hyperspeed. This comes in at $199.99. Build quality on the Kyra Pros does get a bump up when compared to the Xs and the Hyperspeeds. This is including upgrades to the earmuffs with the fabric interior leather exterior, genuine metal silver brushed accents with metal bands, and that is like a solid piece of hunk of metal. It's a nice little upgrade. And again, you get those metal bands, which is nice, but really that's the only upgrades here. So it doesn't add too much weight and still for that price point, which is pretty dang expensive, build quality is pretty plasticky and unpremium feeling. However, sound quality on a Kyra Pros, very good. This brings the sound quality to the next level. The bass is exactly how I like it, very deep and rich without being overpowering. However, most of the time with Razer headsets, the bass is typically underpowered. On this headset, the sound quality is very well balanced while still having that very rich fullness, even more so than the Kyra hyperspeeds. While the differences between the Pro and the non-Pro hyperspeeds is a smaller jump from the Kyra X up to the hyperspeeds, if you enjoy listening to music and watching content with your headset, the added depth and clarity of the Kyra Pro Hyperspeed is really enjoyable. In-game, this is as good as the Hyperspeeds. The differences in-game are less noticeable, but these are still really, really good. Directional sound is great as expected and compared to the Razer Kraken V3 Hypersense and the Kraken V3 Pro Hypersense, both of those have significantly stronger haptic feedback. Now, while these are called the Hyperspeeds, not the Hypersenses, this does have the Razer HyperSense, but like I said, the HyperSense in this is not that great. It's very, very weak. And it honestly, it's kind of like, is it even there? So do not buy this headset because of the haptics. It's not a reason to buy it. It's super, super weak. It's a nice add-on, but it honestly doesn't add much. Now as for controls on the left side, there was a mic mute switch, volume wheel, power button, USB type C for charging, and then a detachable mic. On the right side, there is a button to switch between the dongle and Bluetooth connections, a game slash chat balance, and a button for adjusting the haptics intensity. Although again, the haptics are just not that great. As for connectivity, this uses a 2.4 gigahertz USB Type-C dongle and also Bluetooth. One thing to note with the connectivity is that even though you get an Xbox like variation for the Xbox, you still use a USB Type-C that is then plugged in to a dongle for your Xbox. That's a little bit of a cringe factor. And this is the same on the pros as well as the hyperspeeds, but honestly, it's something I can get on board with, just plugging it in the back, not a big deal. But yeah, one thing to note. As far as battery life, you get about 11 hours with haptics on and 30 hours with haptics off. You're not gonna have the haptics off, so you can pretty much go with that 30 hours, which is pretty, pretty good. Although $200 is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Comfort on the Kyra Pro switches to a leather exterior and different fabric interior earmuff design and is the most supple and comfortable headset on the entire lineup, which makes total sense as this is the highest price. Honestly, for a console headset, this ticks every single box for me. And if money is no object, this is amazing and just get it. Like this is so good, I love it so much. I might even love it more than the SteelSeries 9X, which is a very good console headset, especially for the Xbox but I don't know, it would be a tough decision. My quality here is exactly the same as the hyperspeed, but take a listen for yourself. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Kyra Pro Hyperspeeds. And that is how it sounds as far as compatibility. This is compatible with PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Switch wirelessly, then Android and iOS with Bluetooth. And if you get the Xbox variant of this headset, well, it's obviously compatible with Xbox wirelessly. Take a listen to the back-to-pack mic tests of all the headsets. 
Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Kyra X. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Kyra Hyperspeeds. Check, check, check. This is the mic test for the Razer Kyra Pro Hyperspeeds. Again, if you want to check out these exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.